<laughs> uh, what's happening guys? I'm coming through another video. Uh, it's another video request from a subscriber. So let's get into this. We're going to talk about narcissists and their excuses and fake ass apologies. And I'm pretty sure all you guys know exactly what I'm talking about and been through this. I know I've been through this, it just makes you sick thinking about it, honestly, it's just like, mmm. Makes you cringe a bit, but. Whenever I say the narcissist's excuses and fake apologies is because, obviously, if you're in a situation like this, they probably did you wrong, and they're probably coming back to apologize. And behind their apology is a bunch of fake ass excuses because they don't apologize without having excuses behind them this is something I figured out with these people if they do you dirty clearly if you do somebody dirty <clears throat> you can't really have an excuse as to why you did somebody like that you know what I mean? There's no excuse. There's no excuse to abuse another human being. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, none of these things. There is no excuse. But as for the narcissist, they'll come up with any excuse. Will it be a valid excuse? No, it won't be. In a case that I was in, I'll let you guys know this. So... I seen this person out and about and they were like, oh, I was bad to you. And I'm just basically like, yep. And behind that came, well, I did it because of this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and he, he did this to me, and this guy did this to me, so... That's why this happened. What? What? Just because somebody else does something to you doesn't make it right to go around and stab somebody else in the back. Somebody that actually gave a damn about you because they're the best at doing this. They're the best at stabbing people in the back that care about them the most. And the reason why we ever cared about them is because they showed, up a, they showed us a side of them that looked worthy. You know what I mean? And some of these people are so damn good at doing this, you'd never know. But, once you've been through these situations so many times, you, you can start to see through it. And all the information is out there now. You go through the experience, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna end up catching these people. And when they say certain things like this, it just once again it makes you just shake your head. It's like And the funny thing is is nine out of ten times, maybe even higher. I can't say 10 out of 10 because maybe one of these people did get done wrong. It can happen. A narcissist can get done dirty as well. It's not impossible. But it's a very high chance that they're even lying about this. But the truth of the matter is they see it like this. They see it like somebody else did them wrong probably because they could not change or manipulate another person into doing what they wanted them to do. Like make them their puppet, their slave, ringing any bells. To a narcissist, you done them dirty if you don't be their slave. If you don't let them control you, you're doing them wrong. You're doing them dirty. How dare you not bow down to me and do what I tell you to do and do it this way. You know what I mean? Most of the time, 
it is a situation like this and nobody even done them wrong. They make up a bunch of bull faced lies, they turn people against each other. They make somebody see you a certain way to make you out to be some monster or some idiot. It's just complete lies, manipulation. They're nothing but evil people that want to destroy you in every sense. And like I just said, most of the time it's the people that actually gave a damn about them who they do this to. And that's the sad thing. That's the sad thing. And that's why it hurts so much because deep down in your heart, you knew what you did for this person. You knew the time and energy you invested into this person. And for them to do something like this to you, it just goes to show that evil does exist. Evil does exist. And it's heartbreaking. It's earth shattering. It just, you can't believe it. It shocks you to how somebody could do something like this to you. Personally, I never thought anything like that could ever happen to me. I just didn't think something like that would ever happen to me. Because I know who I am, I know my qualities, I know who I am as a human being, and I just didn't think something like that would ever happen, and it did. I never even could picture something like that ever happening, and it did. You know what I mean? And I bet all you guys feel the exact same way, because you guys know yourselves, you guys know your own traits, personality. How could somebody stoop this low to do something like this to you? You know what I mean? Because we're not bad people at all. We have like zero ounce of bad in us. Our intentions are pure. And I'm speaking for most of the people on this channel because I know all you guys are. But there could even be some idiots watching this too, so you just never know. <clears throat> um, but yeah, guys, like... If you are in a relationship with a narcissist and they come back with a bunch of excuses and fake apologies, do not fall for it. If they come back crying, if they... Some of these people will literally send you pictures of them crying, saying how miserable they are without you and all this bullshit. To do literally anything they can do in their power. To win you back over, to make you feel bad for them. And to take them back, just to give them an extra bullet and a gun to blast your damn head off. Because they missed your head the first time. They shot you. But it didn't kill you. They want you dead. And just to think about something like that is disturbing. But it's true. This is what they do. We gotta watch out for them. at all cost because these people are everywhere nowadays I give almost everybody I come across skeptical hippo eyes not everybody obviously but like a lot of people <clears throat> I've seen too much shit and like I mentioned before in other videos like 2020 I feel is the year of exposure to who I was even at the start of this year and to, I, to who I am right now is completely different. This, this is a year for me personally. So much, so much information has been exposed. So much more has been exposed. I see the situations of my past on a completely different level. And I always knew it wasn't right. There were things obviously that was off. But I feel I perfected my past. If you can look back at your past and see why everything was the way it was, it can really help you heal. Because if there is unsolved mystery still lingering around in your head about why things are the way they are, or why certain things happened, it can throw you off and you can just still be in that like state of mind where you don't know why. And like I said, it makes it harder to heal. 
because you're still questioning yourself, but you're never gonna question yourself if you look back and you see everything for what it really was, 100% crystal clear right through. That's where I feel I'm at right now, and it's a blessing. I try my best to make you guys feel this power as well, because it is power. To feel like this mentally is power. And for us to grow even stronger than we already are as empaths, as empathic people, this brings the narcissist down even more. This brings them down even more. Because we continue to get steps and steps and steps further ahead. And every step we take further ahead is an extra step away from them. Because they're way down here floating on the bottom. They can no longer reach us if we just continue to go up. We continue to get better. We continue to learn. We continue to grow and evolve. And we're never going to fall for their bullshit anymore. They can't fool us when we get to a certain point. You can't be. You, you might be able to get tricked in the beginning, but you're going to catch them before they can actually do damage. Like I said, I even got caught up a couple times this year myself by certain individuals. And it didn't affect me like it would in the past. I seen it, I discarded it. I discarded of what could have been terrible for me because I seen it. And I already seen what they were trying to do to me before from other people in the past. <clears throat> That's power. Because if you have to feel this shit over and over and over again and you don't learn from the hurt you already went through, if you don't learn from those experiences and you're still in la-la land over it, which if you get burnt once and you never got burnt before, you're going to be in la-la land, best believe. You're not going to know what the hell happened. I couldn't wrap my head around why things were the way they were when I was younger and this stuff was happening because I felt so worthy of having this person in particular. I just thought we were perfect for each other. But the person they present themselves to be was perfect. Who they really were internally, not just externally, not even close to perfect. They knew it and that's why you get to start it first because they're doing nothing but tricking you into thinking you're a piece of shit and you're not good enough but really they don't feel good enough so they want to put this onto you and they take power from that they feel superior to you But in reality, I think everybody in this world deserves to be superior. I don't think anybody is superior to one another. I think everybody should feel superior. I think everybody should have real confidence and not, not toxic confidence, but real confidence to the point where everybody's confident in themselves. So none of this shit is happening. Everybody's happy. Everybody's alive and healthy. Nobody's down, nobody's taking advantage of each other, none of that shit exists. That's the way I wish it could be, but it's not like that, unfortunately. And there's people out there that will destroy you. And they happen to be narcs. Even people <clears throat> with borderline personality disorder can destroy you. They're very capable of doing this. It's a dangerous world. I believe these people are criminals, personally. They're destroying people mentally and spiritually and they're getting away with it. People don't get away with murder. And if they do, they got lucky. <clears throat> Narcissists murder you on the inside. They do to you what is so wrong, evil, deadly, that gets you on the inside so you have no proof. Because really, nobody does have any proof. 
you can't, you can't get this person arrested for doing the things that they do to you. You can't. Unless they're literally, like, sending you, like, death threats and shit like this, but that's not what they do. And I mean they can. Some, some of the higher-up narcs can do this, but you guys know how they roll, and they can't get in trouble for this by the police or the law. And they should, in my opinion. And I don't want to say there's going to be a change going on in this world and they're going to start to do some stuff like this because I honestly don't think they ever will. I don't think they'll ever make a law for this or rules. I just personally don't think so. I wish. Because they deserve to be locked up. They deserve to be punished for the shit that they do. But whatever they can get away with, they're going to get away with. Just like a toddler. Just like little kids. They're going to get away with whatever they can get away with. And they're going to continue to do this bullshit. To hurt other people. So. It's just crazy to think about. <clears throat> but anyways, I got another video to do after this one. So I'm going to cut this video short. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. And just understand that, um, if these people come back into your life doing all the shit that I already explained, fake crime, fake apologies, telling you they changed, telling you this shit's never going to happen again, we should be together, we should be together forever, it'll be great, this shit will never happen again, don't fall for any of that bullshit. It doesn't matter how many times they try to come back because they are capable of getting a hold of you one way or another. Like, they're good. They know what they're doing. You just have to watch out for the Hoover. It happened to me a couple times. It could happen again. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Always. So. And I shut that shit down to the defense on a football team. You guys are going to do the exact same thing. But anyways, I'm going to get to the next video, guys. I'll be back.